Hello there, I'm uh, doing another bike video. Um, apologies if you're not into bikes, but <laughs> it's very difficult to do much else at the moment with all the regulations. Uh, I was planning to go away in my camper. I would have been uh, engaged in at least two trips recently, but everything's in a state of flux here in Wales at the moment, so we're all over the place. But uh, biking is something I have been able to do because I'm fortunate that I live in the country and I have a lot of bike trails on my doorstep. So I have been doing a lot of biking and I thought this might be useful if you're thinking about getting a tow bar bike rack. Uh, as you can see, my normal, uh, my normal rack is a bog standard, um, what do you call it, tailgate rack, which uh, it does the job, but it's not ideal. Another thing I've had to do, because it's normally just t fastened by the uh, the lower and upper straps it's just too wobbly so I've had to add compression straps of my own to the side tow bars, uh, not tow bars, roof bars which um, to give it more stability and I don't, I don't like those, uh, the ones you see on the roof I mean I saw somebody take their bikes off when they went into, into a car park with a height barrier he went in and took the bloody bikes off the top of his car. Uh, so, I don't like them. Not for me, that type. So, you're going on the back burner for now. All right, let's have a look at this one. Now, first things first. What I've discovered is this is best suited as a road bike or a gravel bike uh, tow bar because uh, it doesn't fit <laughs> with the ties, it doesn't fit basically very well. So I'll show you. I'll show you how you fix it. Let's move the camera. Now this is the Thule 970 Express and uh, Oh, credit to Skoda, they, <laughs> they provide a removable tow bar, I only found that after I bought it. This tow bar, you can stash it in the, in the boot and you can just fit it and, and remove it at will. So, uh, I don't know if any other cars do that, but it's good, old, good of Skoda to uh, include a tow bar in their uh, accessories. But anyway, here we go. As you can see, it has like horizontal tubes. I, I, the first one I saw a picture of this, I thought, how the hell does it fit? Because its tow bar is vertical and these are horizontal, but look, it goes over it like that, clamps on, push it down, basically press down like that, and you've got a good, good tight lock. I notice it does have a, a bias towards the... Um, tilt slightly. I've tried ever so hard to get it absolutely straight but it does seem to have a, uh, whether it's the tow bar, but it does seem to have a rightward bias, tilt bias. These arms you can, they just drop down like so for storage by undoing this wheel. Get them up again. Tighten them up. Yeah, you can have these horizontally uh, or vertically. So you can adjust it to uh, your bike frame, apart from a, mount a thick mountain bike like this. I'll show you. Yeah, as you can see, as you can see with this strap, it fits perfectly on a narrow crossbar, but come up to this end. No way, Jose. That strap will never meet meet that. Sorry. Yeah, that strap will never meet that in a million years. I use these rubberized. I use these all the time. These rubberized uh, wire connectors. I don't know what you call them. Just loop it round like a saw. Twist, and you can take it that way but as I say you can't use the provided rubberized clamps you get two bikes on this uh, they provide this um, a strap for the frame 
feels pretty rigid, but like a lot of these bars, the, the wheel does stick out a bit from the back. I'll show you if you're looking down the car. Yeah, I think whatever I think whatever bike I was on, um, I'm getting the gravel bike soon, so that should with a narrow frame, traditional frame, so that should fit ideally on this. But uh, whatever bike, I think I would always add additional straps. So yeah, I'd always use additional straps. I wouldn't just use straps. This these rubberized straps and the uh, compression strap provided. And to get it off, you can lock it actually, you could put a little lock, but a scally wouldn't have much problem breaking a lock off it. But to remove, just basically there's a button, that's, there's a button at the back, pull that up, and like so. And it just comes off in a second, you can stick it in the boot. And go on your bike ride, and not worry about getting your, getting it nicked. So, uh, yeah, for the money, it's uh, about £65 I paid, um, cheapest I've seen on eBay, and uh, I think it should prove okay. It's, I like the fact that it's easily fitted and easily removed in seconds, really, so if you're going somewhere you don't want to leave your bike rack, which is nickable, let's face it. Then you just whip it off and put it in the, in the back of the car and away you go. So I hope you found that interesting. The Thule 970 Express bike rack, tow bar bike rack. And uh, catch you soon. I've got some trips, some bike trips coming up, which you might find interesting. Uh, very good one I discovered the other day. So I'll film that soon and put that out. So I hope you're keeping well in these difficult times and catch you soon. See you then.